Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here we successfully complete how to display some of the logging and the logout notification. Uh, here we successfully done this job for the user and also for the admin. Right here also we have done all that our essential things for the user. We have successfully done everything for the admin and also they have another user. Remember if you go to our database into the database we have done that admin dashboard. We have done that our user dashboard and also there is another one as an agent dashboard. So I will also also do this work in here like right now when you're logging as a agent okay if you're logging with the agent and password I have already discussed about that things with you then it will be written redirect to our agent dashboard okay here I didn't load any template here also I will want to do I want to load another template so that will be just like our admin template for the reasons first of all I want to work in our admin panel first and then I will also update our agent dashboard okay so I will do the things later right now I want to log out Okay, that means from here, if you go to that logout, now we are successfully log out. Okay, great. So I will also cover this part. You can see there is display the user logout successfully, which is fine. So first of all, friend, now I want to do, I want to work in our admin. If you go to our admin logging, okay, into the now, first of all, I want to complete uh, some of the part in our admin area, which I have already done some of the essential things in particular that position. If you will uh, logging, it will be display as a user admin logging successfully right here also we successfully done all that are essential things like as a change profile change password and logout functionality for the admin also we have to do the same things for the agent okay so i will do that things later so first of all if you go to our template okay into the template area as i told you our every part will should be as a dynamic right so i want to do i want to complete like they have some of the type okay that means that is our some of the property type here also i want to make it as a dynamic like right now another one as a property which is very 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 important part for this project here we have to also update and that means we have to edit that our property okay so now step by step first of all i want to complete everything from to the back end because from to the back end we have to manage everything right like let's start it with a very simple things like here they have one of the property type okay like into the property type if you actually noticed they have the two things one will be as a property name and that means property type name and also that have one of the icon if you also inspect it okay i just want to show you if you inspect it you can see that have one of the icon so here we, we need actually this type of one of the icon field and also our property that means the property type name should be needed okay now let's do that work. for doing this i want to create another new database table and from to the admin panel i want to manage it so if you want to do this work first of all we have to do our first job is we have to our php running php addition service running better i want to go there and here our first job is we have to do we have to create one of the model and also we have to create one of the controller now let's do that work first of all better i want to create one of the controller that will be the php artisan and then make controller and then in our backend uh, that is in our backend folder i want to create another folder as a backend and and here i want to create one of the new controller as a property con type controller okay property type controller okay now this type of one of the controller i want to create now if you go to enter okay if you press as enter you can see our controller is created successful if you now go to our project and into the http you can see that is it's created one of the new folder as a backend and into the backend folder here i have created one of the new controller as a property type controller so our first job is we have to do we have to support it in our web into the web area i want to do and to support it better i copy it and after that i paste it so now that will be name as a property type controller so i make it as a property type controller and that is will be in our backend folder now into the after that that will be another backend folder black slash and then our property type controller now here i want to create all that our method and also i want to update that means i want to create another new table and also we need another model i want to create another new model as a php artisan and then make okay so that will be the make model and i want to create another new model as a property type property type 
okay property type this type of one of the model i want to create and at a time i want to create one of the migrations table okay here now i want to do and to create separately now if you click as enter now you can see it's now created two of this file one is the property type one of the model is created and also one of the migrations table is created right so now i want to update it like if you go to again in our model our first job is we have to make it as a protected garden that means whatever the field right now it will be in here that everything will be as a fillable okay so make that sure you update that protected guarded great and now if you go to that our database in our migrations folder here that is a new migration is created as a property type right so into the property type area here i want to do i want to simply take um, two of this field if you go to our i want to simply take some of the things from here now that will be actually two of this field will be enough one field i want to do and to make that name as a type okay type underscore name okay name it as a type name whatever the name actually choose right now i'm using this type of name it doesn't mean that you have to use it and i make it as a string and also as i told you another things will be needed as an icon okay that means here i want to actually update that icon class so for the reasons here i want to do I want to take another one as a type underscore icon now that's all two of this will be enough and here also if you want to make it as a nonable you can make it as a nonable see if there have no data then it should be inserted as a nonable okay that means none great great so friend that's all for now it's very simple now click as a save all and here i have already updated our model and i updated that protected guarded great so now i want to do to migration it if you go to our project into the project area i want to run as a php artisan and then migrate right so that will be the php addition migrate click as enter yeah you can see there is a new database table is successfully created if you now go to our database into the database right now that should be another new one here you can see there is our new one is added as a property type great okay great so now our first job is we have to do we have to get all that our property type data so if you want to get this property type right now we don't need it i have successfully done this job i want to load only one of the model that is our property controller here better form to the had been controller i want to take some of the things like a copy it and now in our property type area here i want to do i want to simply load it this one okay now our model will be which one our model will be as a property type model so i simply copy it and here i simply support it okay great so our first job is we have to do have to create get all that our data so if you want to get this data then only we have to do we have to go to our admin dashboard right into the admin dashboard that is on the sidebar into the sidebar area i want to do want to add another new menu so if you go to that resources view in our admin body and that is our admin sidebar right so into the admin sidebar here i want to do uh, there have one of the i bet i want to update this web app to our um, property or real estate okay i make it as a real estate so now that will be the real estate and into the real estate area first job is we have to add our property type i name it as a property property and then type okay so that will be the property type and into the property type area i want to create two of this menu better i want to remove it so that will be one and that will be our another one so i want to take one as a add property okay or add type and better i make it as a add type or all types so better first i want to use it as a all type and then another one will be as a add type okay add type great right now uh, that is our two of this as a all type and add type i want to do i want to create now another new route for this if you want to create this route i hope you already know about this part that will be as a route okay that will be as a route and route will be which name i want to do i want to name it as a um, all type okay all and then the type type now this type of one of the route i want to create and now if you go to our web route and also that is our admin url right here also you have to understand that is our admin all that our route also only admin will be able to access all that route so if you want to protect it i have already discussed about that things with you here you can see i have already created one of the middleware and that is a role as an admin right i have already created group middleware you can also add the same things in particular that position or rather than better i copy it okay better i copy the total our admin group i copy it 
and uh, before I have did I use directly there is also another things you can do you can create some of the group controller right now you can see for every time when I call any route every time I have passed as a our controller name so you can also create some of the group controller I show you from to the Laravel 9 actually the, it's updated this issue I copy it and now that is for the, our as end that is for our open all great after that I paste it okay now that is another admin I simply mean it cut it and also and uh, there is a middleware great great so now that is also only supported for the admin user now after that you can see before I have actually used it uh, like that way here every time we have to call that our controller name so right now I want to create another group route so if you want to create some of the group route then only you have to do first of all that will be as a route and then that will be as a controller okay controller so that will be as a controller now i want to create another group controller route and here there is a controller will be which one here also we have to do we have to pass it so that will be our controller name our controller name i have already loaded as a property type controller right i copy it now i want to do i want to simply add it that our property type controller that is one of the class right so i want to do and to call this class okay so i simply loaded this class great and now i want to do i want to make it as a group so that will be as a group and then here we have to call another function so that is our function okay great so friend that sees all the things okay now we don't need to call every time our property controller only now we have to do better i cut it right now i want to simply add it that things in here right now that will be as a our url url will be needed and that is our name okay here actually we don't need these things better i want to do i want to simply remove it i simply remove it okay and after that url here only you have to call your method okay where what type of method you want to create you can actually call this method in here and we don't need to run every time our controller name like i show you here right now i want to create another new one as a all type i copy it now that will be as a all type that is our route name and that will be our url as a all okay all type and great and also now i want to create another method as all type okay that's all so now i want to create this type of one of the method as a all type method in our property uh, type controller so now if you go to our property uh, type controller here i want to create on the new method that will be as a public function and method so that is our method and better i want to make it as a and method okay great as i told you friend step by step everything will be very clear to you you can see right now we have we have successfully created one of the group middleware we have successfully created one of the group controller okay how to do this work i hope it's very clear but i also want to put some of the note uh, this one will be for the property property okay property type controller um, all route okay great so i simply put some of the note now we have to create it so here i successfully created this method so here what exactly we have to do we have to simply get all the data from to the property type table right so if you want to get it then only i want to better take one of the variable as a types types will be our property type okay property type that is actually our model because here we are using that iluki and rm iluki and rm if you use with this model we can able to access our database table that i have created right great now by this model i want to do and to get that latest all the data so that will be the latest latest all data i want to do and to get it and i take the things with one of the variable as a types and after that i want to return okay return one of the view page so that will be the return view return view will be in our back end okay back end i want to create one of the folder as a back end and into the back end area i want to create another new folder as a type and into the type folder i want to create another new file as a all type okay as i told you i want to actually organize everything very perfectly because that is one of the very large amount of project now i have already get all the data from to the property type by this model i take the things with this variable now by this compact i want to do and to pass this data in our which page in our all type page so right now i want to create this type of one of the folder better you can also create it in our admin folder area or mm, there is a agent right and that is our component that is our font int right 
So better I want to do, I want to create another new folder. Okay, I want to create another new folder in our view, into the view area, I want to create another new folder as a backend. You can also create this backend folder in our admin folder area. So I am actually not focusing it. I'm organized everything as per my demand. It doesn't mean that you have to do the same things if you want to create, uh, if you want to, con if you comfortable with different type of folder name, it's totally fine. I hope you already <laughs> know about this part, what exactly the things I am to do in here. Now I simply created one of the new folder as a backend in our view area. After that, I want to create another new folder as a type. Okay, I created another new folder as a type and into the type folder, I want to create another new file as all type. I click as a open, click as a save as, name it as all type dot blade. Okay, all type dot blade dot PHP. Great. So here, what exactly we have to do? Cause if you go to our admin, that means in our admin dashboard, our sidebar, our header, our footer will be same, right? Only our, this part should be changed. So for the reasons, if you want to get everything, I have already discussed about that things with you. If you go to our admin in our index, now we have to extend our which things. We have to extend our admin and our admin dashboard. Because into the admin dashboard area, I have already added all that our CSS, JSS, sidebar, header, and footer, right? Simply like copy it. And now in our all type area, I want to paste it and also that will be as an and section. I want to do and to make it as an and section. Great. Now if you click as a save all, now everything will be more clear. If you now click as a refresh. Now that should be get on the error because here also we have to run or optimize. Right, so that will be the PHP artisan optimize. Now it's running successfully. It should be now work. Yeah, you can see it's working perfectly. And now there is a new one as a new menu as a property type. If you go to our all type, now you can see by this our admin dashboard. As I told you, it get our sidebar, header, and also footer. Okay, so now here we have to do we have to display all that our property type data. Okay, here I want to do and to load on the data table. So how to do this work better I want to continue this process in our next video, I will show you that things with the live example. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.